everybody it's Sue from So Spin Knit I'm good how are you uh, welcome to my channel if you're a new subscriber welcome if you are been with me for a while welcome back and thanks for stopping by again I'm trying to get a little bit more regular with my videos so uh, fingers crossed I'll have a few more up over the next few weeks for you uh, thanks for watching my Sunday knits and spins video um, I do I think I have a comment or two to get back to you. I will do that very soon. Um, and hopefully I'll have some more knitting coming at you very soon. If you're interested in that, today it's all about the Fiber Mood Gladys top and dress pattern. Now I've only made the top. I haven't actually made the dress yet. Um, I'll put a picture of it in here to show you so this is the I'll put the line drawings in if I can find them and then I'll put in some pictures of people modeling them so I've made the top because I want to do that for the so April blouse challenge uh, I have some things to say about this pattern um, first let me straight away say that I would definitely make it again so that will happen there will be some tweaks and modifications so I've got it on I've just made it out of a really inexpensive rayon which was not as nice to sew with as I thought it might be uh, particularly around the neckline it's a bit squiffy you probably uh, you can probably tell it it went it went squiff Partly that's on me because of a couple of things. Um, one, the fabric itself is quite a loose weave of rayon, so it was very um, volatile. And then I modified the pattern so that it would have a, that this yoke, front and back yoke, were lined. In the pattern itself, there's no lining, at which means that the it frill edges and the sleeve edges and the um, bodice back and front pieces that join to the yoke are all just overlocked and there's all these you know lots of layers of fabric around here and I wanted to corral that into lining I've mostly done that the sleeves still ended up being um, overlocked on the inside of the sleeve cap and um, the uh, underarm seams and um, the inside of the um, button placket is also overlocked and then the bottom hem is overlocked all this is my my twelve, and all partly be, I was working between what do I how do I want to put this together, what do the instructions say, printing out the pattern for the first time. Um, I printed out a size sixteen. I feel like I could even go down one size just because, it, and it could just be a style thing because I'm looking at the pictures. I look down because I've got the pattern. Um, instructions in front of me looking at the pictures and I, I think it is meant to drop off your shoulders so I think that is actually the style so um, probably we'll just keep it at the same size the sleeves I modified the cuff because I wanted a deep cuff I didn't add any length to the sleeve now if I put on the cuff that's in the pattern it comes out at about maybe three quarters of an inch wide so it would have been very short um, I don't think that that is the intention of the pattern I could be wrong I would definitely lengthen the sleeve for my next one now the other thing so I'll definitely make the Gladys dress and I will definitely make more of the blouses I will not buy any more fiber mood patterns though um, 
I don't know if people have ever had any experience with fibre move patterns. I had to email them to get the instructions because every time I log into the website I get logged kicked off it and it says it doesn't recognize my email and password uh, and I said I, I renew the password and then I still can't get access to the instructions because I get logged off saying it doesn't recognize my new password so I, I get an email to reset my password I reset the password I log in it doesn't recognize it and I have to log you get knocked off that was very frustrating but it was happy to take my money for me to get a pattern and so I download the PDF pattern and the pattern doesn't come with instructions you actually have to log onto the website to get the instructions and that's where the initial drama started for me and then um, the pattern instructions themselves whilst they're okay I mean they're okay they're not they're not terrible. I think a beginner would struggle. The instructions are okay. Then they don't use universal pattern symbols in their patterns and they only have a one centimeter seam allowance which they don't actually stipulate. So if you don't and then also when you print the pattern you have to select your pattern size for one of the layers and then you have to go and select your pattern size and seam allowance for the second layer to print the pattern with the seam allowance and then you get the pattern printed with the seam allowance and then when you print it out is when you realize if you measure it that you only get one centimeter seam allowance for the whole thing which then means that um, of course for me obviously not being as smart as some it wasn't until I'd cut out the first couple of pieces of the pattern that I was like, uh, I can't do French seams. So I'm not super happy with the um, inside of the, the blouse. It's fine on the outside. Uh, no one's going to notice. It's all me. It's all in my head. But I couldn't do French seams. I couldn't really finish the um, yokes the way that I would perhaps like to. I do really like the construction, the way the frill comes in around the yoke. I did really like that. I would, I didn't, I don't feel I extended it quite long enough. I'll show you some pictures in a minute. I don't dislike the length, don't get me wrong, and I think it's, it's not bad. It's okay to wear out and it will be fine tucked into high-waisted trousers, but in between the sort of mid-rise trousers or jeans it, it could only be worn out but that's all right I put these big buttons on to make it a statement and it's fine I'll, I'm sure I'll wear it and love it a lot but tweaks could be made to improve this pattern in the way that I have made it so I need to add seam allowance I need to add some length to the uh, blouse for me um, and <clears throat> excuse me so I can finish the inside the way that I would really like to I definitely want to make the dress I also need to add length to the sleeves I definitely want to make the dress um, I have some fabric I think I'm going to make the dress next I know I was going to make the and I will make the um, Anastasia blouse um, but I'll probably make the changes to the pattern for this and I might cut a second blouse and a dress out of for the Gladys next and then do the Anastasia blouse because I do really like it and I think that once I've tweaked it to where I want it it'll be fab would I recommend anybody to I can't remember how much the pattern cost um, I'll look it up and I'll put I'll put the cost of the pattern in here. It wasn't really expensive, but it wasn't cheap either. I'll put it in here. Um, would I recommend the pattern to anyone else? If you absolutely love the style, sure. Now the, the administrators of the website were really good and got back to me immediately um, and very, very helpful, which was nice. But 
in resetting my password but the fact that that problem just keeps happening and that you don't get the instructions with the pattern and that there's universal symbols are not used and the seam allowance is not universal so you on top of having the pattern printed or printing it yourself and putting it together another um, thing there's no um, PDF tile plan so you don't know how many row how many tiles are in a row how many rows there are to the pattern you just got to sit and sort of you know nut it out yourself and try and work out what connects to what and you, I mean it prints out in an order where you just sort of keep connecting until you don't and then you realize okay I've got to start the next row and you keep but which way is it landscape portrait all of that stuff there's no information around that it, if you're a beginner and you haven't used patterns these sorts of patterns much I, I would not recommend fiber mood patterns to anyone that's a beginner I'll just say no just don't just go and look somewhere else for an indie pattern that has a similar style where you know you're going to get really good instructions you're going to get universal symbols and you're going to get a um, universal seam allowance of 1.5 centimeters however if you love the style you're good at sewing you put together loads of pdf patterns you know you just got to sit down with a cup of tea and nut it out um, once you've got it together then dependent upon your person I guess as to whether or not you what type of finishings you like to do are you going to change the seam allowance from one centimeter to 1.5 or two centimeters whatever you want for French seaming etc you know if you're prepared to sit down and do all of that work to add to the pattern then yeah go for it like get it it's uh, it's a beautiful like I just I love the style I don't know if it's just you know very what Laura Ashley Little House on the Prairie um what did Wayne say to me he said something like is that your prairie dress or something like that with you know it's, it's tongue-in-cheek but I was like yeah 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 it is I like it uh and I'm I am looking forward to having the dress the drama of the pattern putting it together and tweaking it to fit and all of the bits and bobs and using the right fabric and making sure you stabilize your necklines and stuff which I did not do so it's all down to me that's all me um, so it's one of those like I really like the final product really didn't enjoy some of the bits of getting there but some of the other bits like the way the frill is this way the shoke is constructed it's really nice I highly recommend lining it it's not you would have on the inside you would just have all um just all the seams in there and it just wouldn't I, I think it wouldn't be very nice you just have all of this fabric rubbing on fabric even if it's overlocked it all still sort of shows through and not be so nice so definitely line it if you can but the final product love it really looking forward to making the dress um i would say a intermediate to advanced sewist go for it if you love the style do it just bear in mind those few things that um the way you need to print the pattern the way you have to actually select your size and then select seam allowance and then add your own seam allowance extra the um, instructions are not included with the pattern when you purchase the pattern you have to then log into the website and when you purchase the pattern you don't actually get a website login so you have to create an account on top of doing that to find the instructions and then I think the administrators have to marry up your purchase with your login and it's all a bit it's just very confusing when you just want to whip up 
a top. Anywho, I whipped up a top after all of that and I'm really quite happy with it. So I'll pop in a few pictures and um, hopefully at the end of April I'll have at least one dress to show you that's a Gladys dress, another better fitting blouse or at least where I fixed up the neckline a bit because I really did. It was my own fault. I stretched it right out. So I'll fix that up. Um, and I'll have sort of tweaked these sleeves a little bit because they're not quite they're not they're not quite met, not quite what I want. They're okay. They're okay but they're just not quite right. I'll add some length. It'll be good. So on that note Thanks for watching everybody. Um, I hope you learnt something. I try not to be too negative. I absolutely love the top and if you love the style, get it, do it, go for it. Just bear in mind you might have to fiddle around a bit. But yeah, I do love it. Thanks for watching everybody and I will talk to you all again really soon. Bye for now. Bye.